those testimonials. And this is what's exciting, what Amy told us last week, that they have a, uh, that her, her company out has a new lasagna recipe and an enchilada recipe, which I'm going to look up in, the next time I go to Whole Foods. Believe you me, I'm looking that one up. And you can also, uh, did you say Walmart also? So Walmart is already putting it on the shelves, and so is Kroger. It's not, our pizza crust is currently nationwide Whole Foods. They yeah. haven't quite got the enchiladas and the lasagna in Whole Foods yet, but it will be. And it's definitely the perfect product for Whole Foods. But yeah, Walmart has it. We do very well at Walmart, which yeah. is awesome. And Absolutely. Kroger has it. And several other uh, mom and pop shops like Gelson's is pretty popular in California and several other places. And if you go on our website, you can type in your zip code and it'll pop up where they're located. That's great. That's great. So our health is important as we, as we age. And so Amy, I've got a question for you. When you wake up in the morning, what do you wake up? What, what is your passion? every day. Now you're not um, so involved with the company as you were before, but you're still involved. But what wakes you up in the morning and you feel like, oh my gosh, I can hardly wait and you have passion? Is it being a mother, a wife, or are all? <laughs> all of it. it <laughs> it's really all of the above. So it varies season to season. For me uh -huh. right now, honestly in COVID, I have been playing with recipes again, and I haven't had the chance to do that since we wrote the cookbook. And the lasagna and the enchiladas came out of the cookbook recipe. So even though we just launched those, that's a recipe I worked on a couple years ago. So I have been playing around with new recipes. I'm so excited because I found something that I wish I could share with you, but it's a little bit of a secret. But one of the things I crave often are potatoes. I love potatoes, but potatoes didn't always affect me, but they do now. So I can't eat a potato. I can't eat a baked potato. I can't eat mashed potatoes. And you're you hear of all those teasing, great recipes. You're teasing us, Amy. <laughs> I know. I'm going to give you a strong hint here. You hear all the time about cauliflower mashed potatoes. It's not cauliflower mashed potatoes. <laughs> but it is a replacement for a potato that I love, and I think I've nailed it. Oh, and so I'm really great. excited. We've been, we've been cooking a lot, and I've been back in the kitchen with my daughter who mm -hmm. helped me figure out the proprietary process to make the cauliflower pizza crust back in the day uh, four or five years ago. She helped me really perfect the way that we did it so it would come out consistent every time because often it falls apart. And right. we've got it perfected for it to be consistent. So she was back in the kitchen with me during COVID and it's something we haven't been able to do together for a long time, which was oh, exciting. Funny. So we've been making all kinds of things. So cooking has been uh, amazing. Spending time with family has been wonderful. I traveled so much when I was the CEO and mm -hmm. I was gone a lot. And even when I was home, I wasn't present and I realized this is, you know, this is a season for me to be very present. They're teenagers. It's going to go really quickly. And so we're back to doing kind of what we love and what we did five years ago, which is cooking together. Right, right. Now, how old is your daughter that, that is cooking with you? She's 16. And my 12-year-old, who's a boy, so I have a 17-year-old boy, a 16-year-old girl, and a 12-year-old boy. And my 12-year-old has been cooking a lot with me. Mm. And he's actually, we did a cooking show uh, last week, and he was on the show with me helping me. We did breakfast items. Uh -huh. And we're doing it again on Monday, which is great, because he's virtual learning right now. So he's been able to help me, which is, which is wonderful. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I find cooking... Um, uh, especially if you're not rushed, it can be like, it's almost like therapy because you feel like you're creating. So I can just imagine how bonding that would be with your daughter because you're creating and trying things. And um, you teased us a little bit. So I'm kind of anxious <laughs> to hear about that in the future. Um, so that is fabulous. So what would you say... Um, who would you say were some of your greatest influences 
in your life? And what did you learn from them? Who would you put up there and you say, I've learned some things from that person? Is there anybody that has influenced Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So it's interesting because my mom, I told you in the last episode that um, I had a little bit of troubled times when I was a teenager. My mom was a single mom doing the best she could. She left my dad, who was an alcoholic, drug addict, and who is no longer alive. And so I, I wouldn't always have said this, but now that I'm a mother, I'm a business owner, I look back on my mom and I'd say my mom had tremendous influence over me that I didn't yeah. realize teaching me grit, teaching me um, how to work through anything and how no is just the next opportunity. And she worked really hard uh, to keep us together and to keep a roof over our head. And I give her so much credit now that I didn't, you know, right. 20 years ago before I was a mom. And right. so definitely I see what she did and that influence. I see that in myself now. Like I don't accept no, no to me is the next opportunity. I am a, I'm, you know, I'm scrappy. I'm, I have a lot of grit and I think I learned that from my mom. So for sure, uh, kudos to my mom. Yeah. Uh, definitely. She made a huge impact in, how I persevered through the, the illness, got through it and created this company. And really there were, you know, we were very, very successful, but with that comes a lot of problems too, especially for an inexperienced team like I had. So early on, I couldn't afford to hire any employees. So my friends came on and helped me uh -huh. and together we built this company and it's the growth is just, tremendous and we've learned a lot along the way but I find some of the things I learned from her that I didn't realize I knew um, appeared in those tough times in business right the times where you just don't give up or in life where you don't give up you just persevere and then times where you know I'd be on stage getting ready to give a talk and just terrified and persevering through fear and once you do it a couple of times, the fear goes away. And that's something I've learned from my mom. She couldn't be fearful. She couldn't live in fear. She had me to take care of and she had no support. Right. So I learned that. I learned um, to live, you know, just to, to get it out and push through it and the fear will go away. Right. And then, of course, discovering faith and funny story, quick story is I wasn't, my kids were going to a Christian school because it was the only private school in our town. And that's a whole nother story, but I often would go to chapel with them to support them. And the chapel teacher was starting a Bible study. And apparently she had had a Bible study in the past, but my name was in her system. My email was in her uh -huh. system because of my kids. Uh -huh. And she had a routine group. And one of the girls in her group one of her good friends was named Amy and she actually accidentally sent me an invite to this Bible study wow. this was before religion was anything to me. It didn't mean anything to me. I didn't grow up with it. And I accepted going to the Bible study. Well, it was an accident that she sent it to me and she asked her regular group, Hey, I've got this mom that's expected. Should we, should we allow her to come? And they mm -hmm. said, yeah, absolutely. And I went wow. and it was a Beth Moore study and uh -huh. yeah, and that's, that's when I started becoming extremely faith-based and it's really served me well as uh -huh. well. So I give a lot of credit to God is my yeah. point to that. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, Amy, we're almost out of time. And so I'd love you to tell the audience how they can get a hold of you and then tell them, um, I'm, I'm excited about your looking up your Cal cauliflower kitchen cookbook. Um, so tell us how, tell the audience how they can get a hold of you. Yes. So I'm on Facebook under Amy Lacey. Hey, Amy Lacey, H-E-Y, Amy. And then Lacey is L-A-C-E-Y. If you message me, I'm happy to send you an autographed cookbook. I'd love to send you one of my cookbooks. And then on Instagram, I'm under Hey, Amy Lacey. And I also have a website. HeyAmyLacy.com, and in there I offer 10% off of any cauliflower products. Again, if you message me, happy to send you an autographed cook cookbook, or you can go directly to Cauliflower Foods website, which is www. 
Cauliflower, C-A-L-I-F-L-O-U-R, foods.com. Wonderful. Hey, I'm going to um, order my cauliflower so I can get it autographed because, Amy, someday I want to meet you and give you a big hug when we get out of COVID because this has been a delight. I'm going to be looking for your products um, in Walmart and in Whole Foods, and I'm excited about the little tease that you gave us all. So thank you for being my guest today. It's been an absolute Um, pleasure. Thank you. And email me your address and I will send out a little care package with my cookbook. I would love that. I'd be honored if you would try our products and recipes in the cookbook. So thank you so much for having me on. It's been so fun and you're such an inspiration. I'm so grateful to be on here and I'm grateful that you're putting yourself out there and you're helping so many people. Thank you, Amy. Blessings to you and your family. Remember out there, it is never too late. If you need to get your health back, it is not too late. It's not too late to lose weight, uh, to find, find Amy's cauliflower products. It's just not too late. It's not too late to follow your dreams or to live a life of purpose healthy. Thank you for being